lead our teams. Round Robin 12. <laughs> Up first on the Red Alliance. Please help me welcome back 2147. From West Valley High School in Spokane, that's Chuck. And at least one more time, 36. I didn't say it yet. Keep going, he's not alive yet, come on. <laughs> 63! Uh, from the Cedar Park Christian Schools in Bothell, that's CPR. And rounding out your Red Alliance, it's 9991. From Kings High School in Seattle, Cyber Knights 2. Over here on the Blue Alliance, we got team 4911. The other Woo! half of Kings High School, they're also the Cyber Knights. And we have their Alliance captains, of course, team 360. From Mellerman Prep in Tacoma, the Revolution. And finally, we got our host team, team 9992. From Bellevue, Robototes 2. Guys, I think they're gonna do a wave, go! And they're going back, whoa! You should do it one more time. Do the wave again, do it again, do it again, do it again, whoa! And back over to the other side, whoa! <laughs> I think we got one more in us. If you don't stand up for this, I, I got people that are walk you out of the building. So, hey, you guys gonna help me? We're gonna do one more time. Ready? Three, two, one, go! And we're gonna go back, here we go! All right, good job everybody. A little boardy told me we're ready to go. Driver behind the lines in three, two, two one, one, react. Go. Round robin, match number 12. This will be the end of our fourth of five rounds here in the round robin. Various red cargo, let's see, that looks three, four, not four, just three pieces of cargo connecting there in that top goal.
That'll bring the Alliance score up to 16 for the Blue Alliance. It's 14. One last minute buzzer beater shot from each Alliance will end our autonomous period. And drivers now take the controls. Wombo combo there in the upper goal right as drivers get control and all of that cargo that was near the robots when they took control is now pretty much flushed out and scattered back around the field. Under two minutes left to play. Blue leads by four. Cyber Knights in blue. Scooping up two pieces of cargo. They zoom right on past CPR. Lining up. Layup. One, two. They're good. Four points to the Alliance score. It's countered immediately by the Red Alliance machine. I couldn't see because my head ref was in my way. <laughs> Cyber Knights in red. Now back by the Blue Alliance hangar. They'll just mash forward and run straight into that 360 revolution machine in blue. Now they're stuck on a piece of cargo. Hoping they can break free there. And that is the second bot of the 4911 squad this week. Two, four pieces of cargo coming from the Revolution. Revolution was ranked second coming out of our qualification rounds. And they are proving they still got it here in the round robin. One minute left to play. Red Alliance now takes the lead. It's a little bit of back and forth here. Red leads by eight. Two and four. They're good. CPR. Resuscitating that cycle there for Red. While their Alliance partners get caught in all sorts of traffic. There's that defensive monster of Robo Totes 2. Pushing Chuck all the way back to the east side of the Cascades. As they get sent over to the Red Alliance hangar. They'll use that safety zone to fire off. And they're good. Launching that cargo in for two points to the Alliance score. However, their Alliance partners, Cyber Knights, appear to be dead in right field. Now reconnected as the endgame buzzer sounds. Cedar Park climbing up. They were on the mid-rung for six. Now they're on the high rung for ten. Nobody on the Blue Alliance showing indications of imminent climb. Team Chuck up for ten for the Red Alliance. Now traversal by CPR. So that's 25 points in the hangar for Red. As the end game starts to wind down, any Blue Alliance looking to climb? That answer is no. Referee is signaling they'll need a moment to review this one. So your scores will be coming soon. Live score for round robin match 12 showed a slight blue alliance lead. Your final score, however, is a red alliance victory. That one ends 98 to 72, favoring our red alliance. And with that, four out of five rounds complete here in our round robin. Lots going on. Brett, walk me through. What's, uh, what's this leaderboard starting to look like? Well, we've got, as you said, four of our five rounds done. Not very little is guaranteed at this point, but Alliance 5 looks like they're going to be playing their last match for Pride. Good for them. Uh, Alliance 1 is in a win and in scenario. If they win their last match, they're going to be undefeated. They'll go to the finals. If they lose their last match, probably still okay when we look at those tiebreakers, but a little hard to be sure. But yep. then we've got Alliances 3 and 4 right there at 3 and 1 each. And if I'm not mistaken, are they going to be playing each other, Alliances 3 and 4? They are not, so it's not going to be a head-to-head -head for that. But you see that hangar first tiebreaker very tight. It, if both those alliances win their final match, it's going to come down to who has more hangar points. Yeah, and there's a lot of potential here for some really complex scenarios. You know, as, they, as Brett mentioned, if we kind of have a loss there with Alliance 1, we would have a basically, what, three-way dogfight for those top two positions, which could get really interesting with just, what is that, seven points separating the averages of hangar score across those, and particularly just two points between alliances three and four. At this point, that is truly anyone's game. 
And I'll note, thanks to our scorekeeper, Kevin, here, we've confirmed it's going to be Alliance 3 up against Alliance 1 in this final round of Round Robin. So you've got Alliance 3 playing for their finals life up against Alliance 1, who is in a win and in scenario. That's going to be a huge match. And I'm sure Alliance 4 is going to be watching the outcome of that one very closely. Alliance 4 will be hungry here to make sure that that match is not just a pre-play, a warm-up of our finals. Remember, our finals are best two out of three. So whoever's in green when we get going, that's who's going on to the finals. Brett, I think you're up for play-by-play. -play. 